If you like to work both with DaVinci Resolve Studio and Windows, you probably know that it's not possible to export your video files in Apple ProRes. I don't know why this is happening, but there is a solution for this problem and in today's video I will show you how to do it without the need to buy an extra software or extra plugins. The procedure is extremely easy. If we need to deliver all the videos with the same frame rate as one file, we drop everything in the timeline of DaVinci Resolve Studio, we select the proper export resolution and we export the file with the codec DNAXHR4441212 bit to preserve the maximum quality possible. When we finish, we close DaVinci Resolve Studio and we download and install Fusion Studio from Blackmagic Design website. Normally it should open without asking the activation key, but if you cannot let it work, simply deactivate the license inside the DaVinci Resolve Studio and use the same key on Fusion Studio. Probably DaVinci Resolve Studio will not ask again the activation key, because you can run both software just with one key. Once we open Fusion Studio, the first thing to do is to change the resolution of the final rendered file. To do so, we go in File, Preferences and inside Global and Default Settings, we go in frame format and here we change the resolution of our final render. We click save and then we drag and drop inside the flow the clip we need to transcode that we can preview clicking one or two in the keyboard. Keeping selected the clip in our flow, we click control space to open the search bar and we type SV, that is the saver, and then we simply click enter. A new window will open where we can create a folder or navigate to the desired folder. We can rename the files and we can already set our container format and in this case we will select the MOV. In the inspector page of the saver you can still change a couple of settings if needed. For example, in file you may want to change the container to something you prefer. In legal you can change the video type from PAL to NTSC and in format you can select the type of compression. There are many flavors of ProRes so it's up to you to decide what you need and you should also set the frame rate. In this case I'm gonna use 23.96 fps. If the video clip is pretty long, we will have to change the duration of our timeline just increasing the value of frames in this box. And in this case I will increase from 1000 frames to 10,000 frames just to have more extra room. Then we will have to drag the right yellow bar of our timeline until the end of the video to tell Fusion where to stop with the render and then we simply click on render to start our export. In this way Fusion will export the file in Apple ProRes in the folder you chose before. I hope you have found this quick tutorial efficient and if you did it please like and subscribe to support my work because the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like short videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!